Hey everybody, what is up? The ITK Chew here. Now, as you guys probably know, I've got this audio system. Uh, now, this audio system just supports USB and auxiliary input, so no Bluetooth or AirPlay. So, recently I actually purchased this iPhone 6S and I listened to music a lot on this particular phone. And this got me thinking is there any way I can actually stream my music from my iPhone 6S to this particular? speakers or this audio system again my audio system doesn't support bluetooth or airplay so i actually did find a way to well stream music from my iphone to the ears uh to these speakers so as you guys can see i'm listening to coldplay on soundcloud and if i go to control panel i get into airplay i've got airflow option which is a tweak we'll be using we'll talk about that in a bit and as you guys can see i can actually play coldplay uh well through my audio system. Take a listen. Alright, now in order to do this, you need to have an iPod Touch or any other spare iOS device. This is running iOS 6 and it's also jailbroken. And you need to download Airflow and activator. Airflow just makes your iOS device sort of like a receiver, so it sort of receives um, sort of music from other iOS or Mac devices. Also you need the auxiliary cable and also you would need a charger or like a USB cable in this case. It's actually pretty broken. Alright, so go ahead and connect your auxiliary cable to your iPod Touch. Also make sure that the other end is connected to the audio system and also since my audio system has the USB connection, go ahead and use that USB connection to charge your iOS device as well. So this particular step is actually really important. Make sure that the audio system is actually charging your iOS device as well. And that's pretty much it. So turn on AirFloat, just open up the app, and now you can simply stream music or just uh, music or audio from YouTube videos directly from your iPhone, Mac, iPad uh, to your audio system. Just like that. So, what's the whole purpose of using that activated tweak? Well, basically, I will actually set two activated methods. So, basically, um, if you go to anywhere and then you go to uh, AC power, and if it says connected, basically, I've set two sort of methods for connected. So, when it's connected, it's going to unlock my iOS device and it's going to open up Airflow application. Also, when it is disconnected, so when there's no more power, which means when I've turned off my uh, audio system, it's simply going to go ahead and lock my device up. So as you guys can see, when I turn off my audio system, it's going to lock my device and when I turn the audio system up, it's just going to go and turn on the iPod Touch and also open up AirFlow application. This makes the whole step or the whole procedure and the whole sort of thing really seamless and yeah, that's from it guys. This is actually how you can make any speakers you play compatible uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll talk to you guys all in my next video bye bye